Hello, Rupone, or y'all, or whatever. P6U here, back with, you know, 2014, I'm gonna do the same thing. One brand new Euro demo, or European PlayStation, whatever, demo, all throughout 2014. Almost, I, I know I missed last week, but I had a lot of stuff going, de going it down back then, so I couldn't really fit to do one. But, you might ask, what the hell is this? What, what am I looking at right now? Well, this is Essential PlayStation Volume 9, CD9, Essential PlayStation CD9. So this is kind of like a compilation, greatest hits, like somebody, I don't know who, but decided that these are some of the best games on the PS1. And, I don't know exactly how many volumes there are. There's more than 12, that I know. There's more than 12. <laughs> uh, I had to move my cat, it was like right into the microphone there. Stupid, annoying bastard. Uh, but here we go, we have Tomb Raider 1, Tomb Raider 2, fancy, yeah. Gran Turismo, Call of McRae Rally, Circuit Breakers. I don't know how this one fitted on the central PlayStation disc, but whatever. Tekken 2, Cool Borders 2, Cooler World, Bomberman World, Rocks and Gems, and that Yoro's game, and that's about it. So we will go in the correct order, we'll start with Tomb Raider 1. Judging by the you know games on this disc, it must have been released, been released in like very late '97 or very early '99, '98. It says '98 on in the case here, All right? You know, I've played all of these games before, but never you know in the same video. And you know that's the whole point doing demos. I mean, the main thing about it is to do the interface and see you know, I guess. Okay, uh, I've played this exact same demo of Tomb Raider before, uh, I'm not, yeah, triangle breaks out the pistol, X is fire, circle is that thing, L1, camera, R1, and hold it in to walk and turn around and stuff like that, R2, or L2 and R2 strafes, okay, so it's not very overly complex, okay, wait, that's the wrong button, yeah, square is jump, Okay, yeah, uh, I gotta remember that. I keep pressing triangle to jump, I don't know why. Maybe I played too much Oblivion, or Skyrim, or Bethesda games in general. Stop firing on the dead wolf. Shoot the live ones. Shoot him in the head. Okay, that didn't go all too well, did it now? Uh, I kill them all, but that's about it. Okay, the last time I played, I think I, you know, went into some kind of stable or something, and some bear came from behind, and then the game froze. So, we can... I don't know if we can head there right now, because I don't know if that area is unlocked yet. I don't even remember exactly where it was, but... Uh, hmm. We can uh, try to go there. Wasn't it in here? Oh, whoa, 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 there it is already. Okay, that was kind of scary. Let's see if I can kill it this time. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so, that was <laughs> not as scary as the last time, but uh, still pretty scary. Okay, so whenever you're near this area right here, he pops out. So he's in here somewhere hiding, and then he just like, nope, I'm going to kill you. And there we go. Whoa. I think I need to break or holster my guns when I have to like climb up these ledges. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, that's pretty logical, so I assume that's why. Or I assume you have to do it. And all that's up here is a med kit. Some ugly face on the wall. Okay, how do you... Is it X? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, speaking about Tomb Raider. I know there's like Tomb Raider Definite or Definitive Edition coming out for... PS4, Xbox One, and, you know, the Tomb Raider 2013 reboot, they're releasing it for the next-gen consoles, which you can't really call them next-gen consoles anymore, but, you know, current-gen, I guess. But I haven't played Tomb Raider 2013, but I'm thinking about getting, you know, the PlayStation 4 version, because right now, the only proper PlayStation 4 game that I have, you know, on disc is Battlefield 4, and I want to play, I don't know how long... Tomb Raider 2013 in, but, yes, but I want to play an epic single player game on PlayStation 4, and so far there has been none, so I'm kind of tapped out on that, I, I really miss playing a like, really epic single player, uh, 
I heard a rumor going about that Skyrim was going to be ported for the next-gen consoles, but that was turned out to be false. And that kind of sucks because I would love to play Skyrim on PlayStation 4 if they fixed all the bugs, you know. Because the PS3 version of Skyrim is absolutely dreadful, I can't play that. I mean, my, my Skyrim crashes as soon as I, you know, touch water, the game, like, freezes. It sucks. And I, I, I learned, or I heard about some fix that you, like, delete some kind of install file or something and then reinstall it. And I did that and it seemed to work, but then I went in, like, to solitude and tried to do some leather working, I guess. And the game just froze when it zoomed into that, so I haven't tried it since. I was like, oh, screw it. I'm, too, I'm, I'm sick of this shit. And it's unfortunate because I, I really want to like Skyrim, but it's kind of hard to do. No. What? When it's so crappy on PlayStation 3. No. Yes, it is. Whoa, that, wh you know what that sounded like? That voice? If we can do it again? Maybe not? No. No. Uh, okay, I don't know why, but that kind of reminded me of Dead Nation, the voice in Dead Nation. Okay, so I know we were like going swimming the last time I played here, I think, didn't I? I don't know, is this a switch or something? Hey, it seems like it. What, d okay, there we go. Wow, how clever. Okay, so break out the pistols just in case something happens. Yeah, I think I've been here before. Whoa. Whoa, get up there. There we go. Okay, uh, I know I haven't finished Star Fox Adventures yet. Or you don't know, probably. You probably don't know, but I haven't finished, st finished Star Fox Adventures. Not even the recording. I'm only up to like 24 parts that I have recorded right now, but... Okay, that wasn't very good. Uh, I thought it would be done by the end of the year, but that didn't turn out to be true. Mainly because the PlayStation 4 occupies so much of my free time right now. And now I also bought a PlayStation Vita, so... I've been playing that a lot. Wipeout 2048 is great. Finished Kills on Mercenary quite recently, also great. Haven't played as much multiplayer though, but uh, what are you gonna do? I mean, Battlefield 4, that's... Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. I didn't think I was going to make it there, but I did. Okay, there's a lot of skulls here. So I assume if I can... No, 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 no. Ooh. How do I um, control the camera? L1. Okay, there's not a... Okay. So I guess I can just jump down. I assume. Uh, here's something... Whoa, she can move that? Really? Whoa. She might be pretty damn strong, right? She... Okay, I don't know what that did, but... I... Uh, wonder if I can move it. No, what? Can I move it some more? Because it's kind of in the way, isn't it? Yeah. Good. Okay, so I... Maybe I should, like, move it out into this... No, maybe that doesn't work. Oh, you can only move it a certain uh, number of times before she quits. Okay. Uh, that's kind of odd, isn't it? Okay. Uh, but yeah, now we'll wait out here. I don't really know what that was good for except getting a health pack. What is that? Oh, that was like pots and shit with Doom graphics. Okay. Um, where exactly am I now? What is, is this a key or something? Kind of looks like a kind of big ass key, but uh, sure, I'll take that. It is some kind of skeleton key, I guess. Um, I don't know where to use that. I have no idea. Well, what's this? Some kind of relic? Let's get that as well, I guess. I know, I think if you press select, the game won't quit, but uh, you will bring up the menu. Maybe I'm wrong. 
Whoa, a bat. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe... I thought this was just some kind of pot, but I don't think I can pick that up. Whatever. Uh, huh. <laughs> Whoa, fancy. <clears throat> but I won't reach up there almost, but not entirely. Break. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, uh, she can't do anything while she has the pistols equipped. That kind of sucks, but I guess it's somewhat realistic. Not entirely, but uh, I mean, if she can't pick up items when she has the pistols equipped, that's kind of stupid. I don't know. I don't know. Um, hmm. But uh, what do I do now? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I could push that rock in here and. But that's going to take quite a lot of time, won't it? And just, you know, climb on up and climb up there. I guess I could try. Right? So, uh, let's do it. No, wait. No, not like that. I don't really understand how she drags that thing. Where does she get a grip on it? And how the hell? That must, like, weigh a couple of tons, right? Unless it's like made out of some kind of polyester. No, not polyester, but you know, you know, carbon fiber or something like that. Some lightweight material, but I doubt it. Highly doubt it. It looks like rock to me. So, or stone. It's a stone, Luigi. You didn't make it. <clears throat> no. No, 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 no. So we'll drag this out. See if that does anything good. I assume it does, since doesn't seem to you know uh, get stuck anywhere so I think we can get it all the way out that's pretty neato isn't it uh, just one more push and we'll have it out there so we can climb on it that is yeah okay so get on no, get on there we go Okay, and now get up here, I assume. Okay, so... Stupid bats. Okay, so this is kind of some kind of storage area or something. I don't know. More bats? Where? I heard you. There you are. You mofo. Stupid ass bats. Okay, uh, now where am I? Back to this area. Okay, um, I don't really understand where I'm supposed to go. I don't even know if there's like an end to this demo, if it just like keeps you on going forever and forever, forever, forever. I have no idea. There must be some, you know, uh, uh, what you call, limit on how long you can play. Or oh, I press start and the game seems to have frozen. Uh, well, uh, speaking of devil, I didn't really plan for that, but I was kind of hoping it would freeze somewhere so I could like stop playing it. But uh, I'll take that. Okay, so uh, that was Tomb Raider one. Did some other stuff than I did the last time. Yay, that's pretty neat. So uh, we will. Play Tomb Raider 2, and then there we have like, I don't know, how many games? Whoa, my PS3 started sounding weird. I don't know why. I have no idea. Uh, wait, uh, there's 11 games in total. One of them is a Yoros game, so that doesn't really count. So there's 9 more full, you know, PS1 games that are, are demos off to play. And Tomb Raider 2 is in it. Oh, Gran Turismo. Yeah, that's going to be sweet. Uh, it's going to be really short as usual if it's the same demo as it, it always is. It probably is. You know, what's it called? Special Stage Route 5. You get to play one and like uh, one sixth of a lap. Because that's how much time they give you. Pretty sucky. But what are you going to do? Okay, Tomb Raider 2. Starring Lara, Lara Croft. I've played. 
The only one I haven't played is... Oh no, it's this one again. Whoa, yeah, I made a total ass of myself the last time. Or all the times I played it. Whoa. The controls are... Wow. Well, the controls really this fast in the last time I played this because it feels like it's like sped up or something. And there's like supposed to be a tiger down here, but I don't see him. Maybe he's behind me or something. I don't know. Okay, now I hear him. The animations and all, everything are smooth, but, whoa. Okay, that wasn't really smart. The controls are hyper-responsive. I don't know if, or compared to the first one, that is. I don't know if it really was that in, you know, the sequel, because the third Tomb Raider feels more like the first one than this one does. Maybe it's some kind of weird, you know, it's reading the disc too fast or something, because... I, maybe it's just me, maybe you don't even notice it, but I feel there's a big difference compared to this, or comparing this to the first one. Oof, 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 that was kind of close, wasn't it? No! Oh! Okay, uh... Yeah, the jump isn't, it isn't instant, that kind of sucks. It kind of throws you off if you're not used to it, but... I guess you can adjust to its crappiness. I just assume. No, I mean, I managed to get out of this pit after a while, though. It sure took some time, but... Okay. Whoa. Okay, um... I'm gonna give it a couple more shots. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I managed to get out of here and... Encountered some birds and some temple and some crap. The last, no, or maybe it wasn't the last time, but one time I played this. And I don't know how I ended it. Did I die or did it just come to an end or end or? I don't know. No, not end or, but. Why doesn't she, like, jump there? I don't, I don't fully understand. Whoa, that was almost. There's no run button, it's just, um, uh, whoa, get, get out of here. Okay, this is a little embarrassing, isn't it? Maybe it's too uh, responsive to controls here. Or maybe she, like, moves way too fast, so it's kind of hard to... Oh, <sighs> yeah, I know, it's absolutely horrible to look at. But, on the other hand, it's absolutely horrible to play as well. Especially when you're used to modern games. I, mean, I never played Tomb Raider back when it was released. Maybe because it was like 5 when the first one came out. And I did not own a PlayStation until it was like 7. So, yeah, you do the math. And I had really no, like, whoa, interest in playing these kind of games either. I don't even really know what they were all about, even. I just knew... Oh, whoa, 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 that was close. I just knew you played as, like, a girl, and I was like, that's kind of lame. You know, that was when I fought back then. You know, you wanted to play, like, Crash Bandicoot and Spyro and stuff. Not some chick running around. I don't... I don't you know, maybe I would have liked the games back then. I have no idea. Uh, there's no instant turnaround button. That kind of sucks, doesn't it? Okay, that was uh, a little embarrassing. Maybe if you hold R1 and you can do it like this. And... There we go. Wasn't too hard, was it, Nick? I think I hear another tiger or something. I don't know where he came from, but I don't want to fall down and meet him. I have no interest in doing... <gasps> Whoa. Alright. 
Thank God I can't climb the rocks here. I mean, it's bad enough for a human, and how could a tiger do it? No, it can't. Okay, so no more fancy jumping here. I just want to go up here. Okay, okay. But wait, I'm supposed to go to the other side. Wait. Mm, how did I do this the last time? Did I like... No! Okay, let's kill him. Is he dead? No, he's not. Stop popping up flares. Okay, uh, I don't know what exactly am I doing here. Okay, that's good enough. Am I supposed to get it? No, 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 no! Oh my god. Uh, I know, this is a pain painful if you know how to play this game. I, I'm well aware of that, but... I know, I'm a noob on this. And I make no excuses. Do I? Or can I do? I mean, the, the controls are kind of awkward. But... Yeah, yeah. Okay, can I... If I go onto this ledge over here, right, right in front of me, I will slide down, I assume. So, I'm probably better off, like... Why doesn't she jump? No! Okay, uh, I'm gonna quit here. So I press select. Because available in November 97. Alright then. Uh, y'all. Yeah. Alright, so that was Tomb Raider 2. Uh, I did not... I didn't do very well, did I? Kind of embarrassing. Uh, Gran Turismo, here's something I can do, at least. Hopefully. If it's the same demo I assume it is, then we're all set. Oh, by the way, this is the third demo I tried to record. I tried to record different demos before this, but they didn't really work. Uh, one didn't even show up at all in the PlayStation, and the one showed up to the interface, but when I tried to start the first game that was available, it just, you know, the whole PS3 froze. So that wasn't really pleasant, was it? Yeah. That's kind of sucky. I guess I have to play those or try to clean them and then try to play them on the PS1 or PS2. But you know, it's much more comfortable to play on a PS3. You can reset instantly by just pressing the PlayStation button instead of, you know, hopping up and or jumping up and then, you know, running towards the PS2 and like, press reset. Okay, club message R5. Don't want to watch the replay. No way. And it's the same demo as always. Quick okay. I love that old school Gran Turismo 1 menu. It reminds me of 1998. Available cars. Yeah, it's the same as always. This one is full and everything, but it's um, it's a rally car, so it doesn't really fit. I'm gonna go with a white NSX type S0. Automatic, yeah, there we go. Everything is cool, and it's all set. It's gonna count, count down and we'll be on our way. And if it has the same time limit as always, I assume it does. That kind of sucks, but what are you gonna do? Nothing. You can't complain now. This is like 16 years after it was released, so. Yeah, down with time 75 seconds. That's stupid. Okay, how do you change camera? Triangle? Nope. R1. Okay, we're gonna do it like this. I usually never play Grand Trisma with the third person camera, I usually use this. Well, usually, I always use this. I can't play Gran Turismo with this camera. I can only play Wipeout or arcade racing games with this camera angle. Gran Turismo is a big no-no. Sims in general, you know, playing third person is kind of weird. Kind of takes away from the simulator aspect, don't you think? I mean, it's great in Need for Speed. I can't play Need for Speed like, say, Need for Speed Underground 2 and PS2. I cannot play th that with this camera. It does not work. have to have this. That's because the cars don't really behave realistically. I don't know if this does... Maybe it did for 1998 standards. I mean, it's... Well, after all, it's called a real driving simulator. By the way, I haven't played Grand Turismo 6. Anybody know if it's any good? I I'm not gonna buy it. It's for PS3. And it feels kind of weird to... You know, buy PS3 games when I already have the PS4. It feels like, you know, PS3 isn't my main console anymore. Because I mean, it's. 
I have the most games for PS3. It's my favorite console of all time, but you know, now I have to give love to the PS4. Since it's brand new and everything. You don't have to watch the replay, we'll exit. Yay. But yeah, I, I want an epic single player game for a PS4. And there is none available. Which kind of sucks. So, uh, if you know if Tomb Raider 2013 is good, any good, and if you recommend buying it, I would probably do it. I already have it pre-ordered, but I'm not entirely sure if I'll buy it or not. Infamous Second Son is coming in March, I think. I haven't played Infamous 2, though. Hopefully, you don't have to have done that to understand anything. Call me Cray Rally. I've only played Infamous 1 since you got it for free after PlayStation Network was hacked. And that's two and a half years ago. But I, I liked Infamous 1, it was good. I mean, not that good. I probably wouldn't have bought it. You know, if I didn't get it for free, I would never have bought it. But it was good enough. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Also, I still have to finish Mass Effect 2 and 3. I haven't even finished the second one yet. I haven't even started the third one, obviously. Um, what else do I need to play? God of War Ghost of Sparta. I started that on PSP when I bought my PSP back in 2011, but I haven't started it on PS3 yet, and I haven't finished Chains of Olympus. I'm on the last boss of Chains of Olympus, and I'm playing on hard, so it's hard as hell. And you have to watch an annoying cutscene that, like at least 20 seconds before you can even retry if you die, so that sucks balls. But here we are. Okay, uh, is there a way to change the camera? Okay, I didn't read uh, the instructions in the beginning. But... Whoa. Love the background though. I mean, I've always said that when I play this game. I love the background here. Sunset during winter. I love it. Absolutely love it. The resolution is pretty shitty. From over here, though, I'm playing on a 50 inch TV, but on the recording computer, it looks good. Okay, I'm in 8th place. I'm probably not gonna be that at the next checkpoint since I've tipped over. That was pretty embarrassing. You can't change to a first person view here, though. That kind of sucks. And whoa. Oh, real? That made it tip over? That's embarrassing. I love it in Grand Theft Auto Fine where nothing can tip over. You can just, if you tip over, you can just like, you know, uh, go get back on your feet. Or <laughs> on your wheels, I should say. Okay, it, this, this tips over way too easily. It doesn't feel really realistic, but whatever. Maybe I'm wrong there. I don't know, I don't, I don't have a driver's license, but compared to other games. Maybe cars do tip over that easily. I don't feel think they do, but uh, hey, who am I to say? I don't know. Okay, last place. Yeah, that's great. Great work there. First check one went pretty okay, but uh, this is not all too well. It would be sweet not to finish in dead last, but if I do, then uh, I don't really care. It's still just a demo. I'm never gonna buy the full game. I think. Unless I become like some kind of PlayStation collector and I need to have every single PlayStation game. Highly doubt it though. 12th place, okay. Not too bad. Or kind of bad since I'm driving like a bastard, but better than nothing, I guess. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, if, you know, whatever, if I get a lot of shit, a lot of money, I win it on the lottery or something, then I'll probably buy every single PlayStation game I could find, but... Right now, nope. Only the ones I really, really want to have, or the ones that are really, you know, if you can find like bargains, you know, on auction sites, sometimes people don't know what they're selling, or sometimes they have like misspelled the names in the auction, so people can't find it, and you can only find it if you like search by the entire PlayStation category. I mean, that happened to me before when I bought uh, uh, the Legend of Cell Oracle of seasons for Game of Color. It was like misspelled in the title on the auction, so it didn't show up when you just so, uh, search for Cell Oracle of Seasons. You had to like go through the entire Game Boy Color, you know, filter to find it. That's why I got it very cheap. Crazy. It was complete. The only thing that was missing was the in inner cardboard, but it, uh, I can live with that. But screw Zelda, we're playing um, 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 uh, Colin McRae, Rally. Uh, we're in 11th place. Hopefully we can keep that position to the end. No. 12th, okay. So we're in the final stretch. It would be neat if we did not screw this up and wind it up dead last. That would be sweet. I'm happy with that. 
Twi oh, speak of the devil. Okay, uh, it's decided, and I will wind up in 12th, no, 16th place. I'm pretty damn certain, at least. Moment of truth. Oh, 14th! Ooh, so, the AI was even worse than me. Five seconds after P. Bogalski, okay. Okay, as for all Chris Babau. That's the password if you want to know. know what that does, but uh, okay. Speech by Colin McRae and Nicky Grist. I assume Nicky Grist is his uh, map, or was his map reader. I don't know. Co driver, I guess you say. I'm not entirely sure. Could be wrong. Who the hell knows? Out in July 1998, then. Right, so. If this that came out in July '98, yeah, then this disc must have been released prior to that, maybe, probably after. So maybe in like the second half of '98, this came out. I have no idea. It would be cool to see an exact release date for all of these discs. I mean, someone must know them. It's not like PlayStation was a minor brand back then. I mean, PlayStation was the best-selling console, you know, in that gen. So. I assume somebody must know exactly the release date for all demos. Probably not the same person that knows all discs release date, but you know, combine all these people and you will have the exact release dates. But I don't know who they are. They probably don't know themselves. It's not like they care anymore. Three, two, one. Stop on it. You sure I'm gonna press select? If you say so. Okay, that worked. Okay, this is circuit breakers. <clears throat> if I'm not entirely mistaken, this was made by the same people that made uh, what's it called? Super Sonic Racers. And you all know how much that sucks, and I can definitely see the similarities. I don't know why this was included on this, sen or, you know, yeah, essential PlayStation. This is highly not essential. I hate this game. It sucks. Imagine playing full price for this shit when it was released, and you were like, oh, this is fun. <gasps> I played this, I bought Super Sonic Races and this. Full price. You know, what a ripoff. What a ripoff. Couldn't even sell this on like PlayStation Store nowadays. Nobody would buy it. Yeah, great. This is just some kind of lame Micro Machines ripoff, and Micro Machines to begin with wasn't even that great. Maybe it's just me that don't like these like weird angled racing games. It just uh, I don't understand the you know appeal of them at all. That's a that's a genre, by the way. Weird angle racing games. I mean, there was a lot of these on PlayStation One for some reason. Why couldn't they have just like a proper racing perspective? Why must they have like this weird where you know the camera follows you around and or maybe not like that, but you know it shifts like this. Kind of, it's it's it doesn't really feel like you control the car. It feels more like you control the circuit. Kind of, if that makes sense. I don't know. Okay, do you have weapons or do you just uh, race? Okay, there was an oil spill, so... There is weapons a bit. Okay, those colored uh, icons, I guess. I don't know. Haven't I... Ugh, haven't I hit one of those yet? Uh, whoa. Okay, fourth place. Not too bad, I guess. In the middle, pretty cool. Um, it presents uh, the world's first add on disc if you own the full version of Circuit Breakers. You can have unrestricted play on all eight extra, on all eight extra circuits on this add on disc. Consult your user manual for full instructions. Okay, so maybe this is like expansion tracks. So if you had a full game, you... I don't know how that works, but uh, it probably did. 
I don't know anybody who owns circuit breakers. I know I wanted to have circuit breakers just by looking at the video of it, but when I started, when I played this game, you know, last year the first time, I realized how bad it was, so I'm glad I never got it. Alright, so we'll move on to, wait, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, oh, 10, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, it says 11 on the front of the disc here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11. Is Dead or Alive on this disc? Okay, Dead or Alive isn't on here, but it says so on the cover. Okay, so that's pretty weird. Um, Tekken 2, alright then. That's a shame because I kind of enjoyed the Tekken or Dead or Alive demo. It was pretty fun, I think. I kind of enjoyed it. I never pl played a full game though, but that one is okay, so I guess it can't be too bad. But uh, yeah, that saves us a little time, I guess. Ten Namco presents uh, the Tekken 2 video. We've seen this, I don't know how many times. Probably one of the most played demos I've ever done. I'm gonna play June as I usually do. Oh, King, cool. King is my favorite, he's cool. I'm not really good with him at all though, but he looks cool. Okay, I don't know the combos. I don't know how many times I said that, but I do not. Whoa. And I... Okay, there we go. I know how to grip. There we go, I broke his arm and he... Yeah. Isn't this the, the stage where you fight the ogre in Tekken 3 in the arcade? It kind of looks like it. Maybe it's just like... Uh, the same uh, backdrop, I guess, I don't know. Ooh, that uh, looked pleasant, did it now? Yeah, I'm gonna win, but I'm not playing like some kind of pro or anything. I, I mean, I don't know the combos. And that's why uh, you see like lame-ass finishing moves like that. Oh, I kicked you in the shin and you died. I mean, you okay. at least I won, so it's not too bad. <laughs> uh, you know, but whatever. There we go. That was Tekken 2. Really fast demo, wasn't it? So, w the only thing we have left now is Cool Wars 2, Cooler World, and Bomberman World. And then uh, Rocks and Gems. We've already done that a couple of times as well. I don't know why this was fe that was featured on the central ass. Well, I have no idea. But cool Borders 2, which I like. That's my favorite Cool Borders game. I haven't really played them that much though. I know Cool Borders 2 is available on PlayStation Network. I probably won't buy it though. I mean, I already have it on disc, but you can't play it on your Vita. I mean, I bought some PlayStation 1 games for my PlayStation v Vita. If you want to know which ones, I bought the Spyro Trilogy. It was really cheap. I bought Silent Hill and also buy, bought Final Fantasy 7. And Final Fantasy 7 I've never played before, to be honest. So I played Final Fantasy 7 for the first time in my life last week. Yeah, I know. That's kind of blasphemous to say, isn't it? But that's true. I haven't really gone before, or I haven't done anything in particular. I just got to the town or whatever it is, and you know, the bar, and then I was supposed to go blow up reactor 5 and then I stopped playing because I feel like uh, playing uh, kill zone I guess mercenary which is really great okay I don't get any points for taking these I still don't remember I think I, did. Uh, I failed so it doesn't really matter at all but okay uh, let's see okay. all right. Okay, that's pretty cool. Gonna go to yellow oh, green. Oh yeah, that's right, green. Okay. Let's try something similar. Not too bad. Now we're on yellow. Very cool. We're gonna go to where's the last one? Purple. I think there's five. 
I got some cool points for oh, one at least. It's crucial that you do spins because if you don't, you're not gonna get any points at all. And you're not gonna get any points for just doing a 180. Uh, is there a grind button? That's the main question here. I don't think it is actually. Or oh, there is. I could be wrong, but. Whoa. I don't ever remember grinding properly in this game. Ooh, that was okay. You get a shitload of points for, uh, whoa, 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 what do you say? Driving on these, uh, as you see, I don't know what they are exactly, but you get points for doing it. Okay, and also, whoa, I'm not even gonna finish the surf. Or the course, I feel like. I'm not. I'm gonna miss out on a big jump towards the end there. Okay, that... Did that just happen? Okay, uh, that seemed real. I got the blue at least, that's cool. It kind of sucks that you only get to do bar board park. I don't really like that. That's the like lamest aspect of the game. It's not really fun. It has no purpose whatsoever. Want to play a proper circuit? That would be cool. But that was Cool Borders 2. Cool World, here we go. Oh crap, this might be the same Cool World demo that's featured on the registered user demo. And that one I suck at. And uh, I, there's at least two different versions or demos of Cool World. One that has no music during gameplay, and one that has. You know, the most common one I assume is one featured on. Okay, it's this one. This is the one I was talking about. The most common one, I assume. I could be wrong, but I think this is the one. That's the most common, I mean. This is featured on uh, Winter Release 98, among others. And it was also featured on Demo 1 version 7, wasn't it? I mean, Demo 1 version 7 is a great demo. So is Winter Release 98. It's a really good demo. I love it. Winter Release 98 is... Probably my absolute favorite PlayStation PAL PlayStation demo I've ever played. Of the ones I've played, it's probably this, I have to say. I'm gonna do a top 10. Top 10? Sounds good, right? Top 10 PlayStation or PAL PlayStation demos in the very near future. So if you want to see that, then just stay tuned for all things PlayStation, as always. Okay, so we're missing one key, and that one is here, right? Oh, wait, am I wrong? Yeah, there it is. Alright then. How did I wind up here? Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Don't need those. I grabbed them anyways. Okay, we need to go here, and uh, we are done. Then we get to play the bonus stage, as always. Yeah, nothing really too special, just really, really tripped out, isn't it? It's get even more trippy if you do this. It's crazy. I don't know, do you get more points for the pills or the gems? I have never thought about that. I mean, I usually go for the pills because the effect is so, you know, tripped out. Kind of cool. I wonder why they never made a sequel to this. I don't think it was that big a hit. Because, you know, to find a used copy of this, you gotta pay a lot of cash. Or, you know, not to find it, but to get it. To own a used copy of Cooler World, you get to pay a shitload of cash. It's one of the few games that I really, really want to have, which I don't. I mean, most of the games I really wanted when I was younger, I have gotten. But not Cooler World. That one still has slipped my fingers somehow. I'm gonna get it eventually. That I know. I know it's available, you know, on the PlayStation Network, but I want to have a physical copy. Really do. Bomberman World! Ooh! Hopefully I can redeem myself and win this now. I mean, I played this two times at least, different demos, and both times I failed miserably, so it would be neat if I could actually win here. Not holding my breath, but, you know, it would be neat. Very neat. Yay, Hudson. Whatever happened to Bomberman? Is he still around? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, or something. I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, black was green. Dude, don't tell me it froze. Oh, there we go. 
Shove it out. Okay, circle is bomb. Good to know. I should remember, but I don't. What's up? What are you gonna do? Sue me. Okay, I don't want the skull. Go away. He will bomb that for me. Hopefully, he will walk into. Oh crap, crap, he did. Okay, I killed him. Oh! What? I killed my. Okay, um. What? What? Are you kidding me? Dude, that was like the shortest match ever. I can't believe. I killed myself. Okay, so that was really not uh, redemption, was it now? Uh, now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play the rest of the demos featured on the disc. There's only two more. Oh, there's only one more. Rocks and Gems, not Yoros. Okay, so we're gonna do that one. Oh, crap. We probably will have to reset after this one since it's a Yoros game and they usually don't cooperate very well unless you reset them. That kind of sucks. Okay, I will give uh, Bomberman World one more shot, either way. But we're soon to be done, you know, with all the content on the disc, at least. That's cool. Rocks and Gems. 2D puzzle adventure, which isn't really that fun. Uh, I mean, I kind of suck at it, that's probably why, but I, I don't really like it. Gerhard Rittenhofer, Manfred Tuchmandl. Pad response low mid easy sure start at level one let's start to be in yeah um, it probably isn't that easy either way or maybe it is i don't know Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I suck at this. To be honest, I, I really do. Maybe that's why I don't really like it. Huh. You know, that's a valid excuse, right? If you suck at something, you don't like it. Simple as that. two at the same time I think it can do if no we can't oh okay then how how do I get that uh, blue one then okay you I thought that was gonna kill you but apparently it didn't so. okay I think I screwed myself right now Maybe I didn't, I don't know, but I think I did. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to die when this happens, but uh, screw it, start select. I don't care, that was uh, rock gen Rocks and Gems. Press select. Will we go back to the men main menu? That's a big question. If we do, that's awesome. So we can play Bomberman World yet again and try to redeem ourselves, but I don't doubt it since it's just stuck on a Blagus Grain right now. So, uh, we will reset. I try Bomberman World yet again. That was too embarrassing. I can't let that slip. No way, Jose. So, Dead or Alive was not featured. It says so on the cover, but that's a lie. Kind of lame. But either way, we will retry Bomberman World yet again, and if we fail, then I uh, will just let it slip. And if we succeed, then that's cool, but I kind of doubt it. kind of doubt myself. You should never do that, but now I do. And regarding this, at least, that's uh, I have a feeling it's not going to go too well. But, oh well, let's um, try again Bomberman World. I mean, this Bomberman World, <laughs> the Bomberman World demo has actually multiplayer, so you can connect more controllers and play with your friends. I mean, I did that back in, uh, whoa, 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 what was that, 98, 99, back then, <laughs> when I had a demo. I did that, it must have been 99 I did that. Ah, it must have been in 99. Press start. 
And I actually had the full game of this. I haven't played it that much though because, to be honest, I thought the adventure mode was really hard. And the multiplayer maps aren't really that great because they have like some kind of weird 3D perspective. This one is the only one that I really enjoy because the other ones have like... They're, they're blocked by, you know, various obstacles like in front or on top of the actual map. Okay, is this the same exact layout as the last one? Seems like it. Whoa. I, because uh, all the items are like available in the exact same places as... Oh, the, oh, the, pre the previous time. Or the last time. Kind of risky to go in there, but it worked. Okay, I want to get some nice power ups, but I don't get anything. I want to get more bombs and stuff like that. I want the glove. It's gonna get blown up, but it's too bad. I don't know what the P does. I don't remember. Or maybe it doesn't do anything just for show. Oh, the yellow fire. They like uh, increase your bomb range. Maybe the piece does that as well, but you know more so than the just you know regular fires and flames. Are. Crap! I should do that. Okay, nobody's died yet. That's kind of interesting. Okay, I can only lay three bombs at a time. Okay. Don't want to touch the wizard or that fat one. Okay, maybe not the knight now, or the astronaut, or whatever he is. I don't know. Okay, he's dead. Cool. Grab his stuff. Great! I'll grab my stuff! Ooh, he has the boxing glove. I want that. Ooh! Yay. Is it only the fat one died? It's probably gonna be a draw. Or maybe not. Oh! Oh crap! I killed myself. Well, that was kinda lame. The blue one had a glove, so we can throw him. Fru throw him. If you can just throw them out there. Oh, that kind of sucks. But whatever, this was Essential PlayStation 9. This 9, released in 98 sometime. I don't know when, but sometime in 98. Uh, pretty cool interface, I guess. Kind of looks like uh, something you'd see from a registered user demo. No, not really surprising, but whatever. Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, stay tuned for all things PlayStation. A brand new demo coming next Sunday, of course. We'll see what we, where I can uh, dig up for that week, alright? So as I said, if you enjoyed this video, stay tuned. But for now, P6U, going offline.